This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Hello and welcome. You're watching News Tonight with me, Sai Manish. Hi, I am Peer Mohamed. I am bringing you details of Sri Lanka former Army General being sentenced to three-year uh, Im uh, imprisonment. Well, Peer, hold on there. Details of all that coming to you. Before that, let's have a look at the headlines. It's the return of the swine flu scare. Another sign swine flu deaths suspected in Coimbatore. After debit cards, it's now the turn of the dubious credit card fakes. Another fake racket busted in Chennai. And that's Lewis Hamilton for you, ladies and gentlemen, zipping around on his Mercedes with his trademark burnout. Nicole is incredibly talented beyond um, your imagination. She, dancing-wise, she just blew everyone away. Rohan Bopanna goes down to Brazil's Thomas Berlucci, blames the lack of playing singles matches for his loss. And Chennai girl Devya Ajit creates history. This 21-year-old woman will be the first one to Raised the sword of honor kind of for services. the Indian Army. It would have been the civil services if not the army. So they had that in mind that I am going to be in some kind of uniform. Well, those were the top stories that will come your way in a bit. Before that, let's also have a look at what else is making headlines in India and across the world. Tragedy strikes Sri Lanka. Two truckloads of dynamite accidentally blew off, killing 62 people. Salat Fonseca gets three years imprisonment on charges of corruption slides deeper into trouble. Allahabad High Court says no more delay in setting the issue of who exactly owns the Ram Janmabhumi in Ayodhya. Maharashtra's anti-terrorism squad speaks in two voices on the role of Himayat Beg in the Pune blast. Well, already stripped of his military rank and medals, former Sri Lankan Army Chief Sarat Fonseca was today held guilty of corruption charges by a second court martial. Now, he was sentenced to a prison term of three years. An opposition lawmaker, which Fonseca was, uh, he led Sri Lanka's uh, spectacular victory against LTT last year. He was found guilty of corruption and defence deals at a hearing held today. The second court martial has recommended to the president a three-year jail term for Fonseca. The recommendations will be sent to the president who has to approve them as the commander-in-chief. For more on this, let's go across to Peer uh, Muhammad, who joins us live from the newsroom. Uh, Peer, of course, uh, the signals were there, the smoke signals were there. Today, the, finally, uh, the hammer fell down on him. Uh, yes, Manish, uh, when uh, Sarath Fonseca, as member of parliament, visited uh, uh, the uh, parliament in August with you know, all security, you know, he addressed the media and he said and he would be put into jail, particularly because he was willing to testify before the UN probe panel on the war crimes, which will go against the Sri Lankan President Mahinda Rajabaksha. And he was uh, uh, foreseeing it and it had happened today, because particularly after he declared that he would testify before the UN probe panel on the war crimes, you know, this second mass hill started. And the three-member panel today sentenced him to uh, three-year imprisonment. And he would be very soon shifted from the naval headquarters where he is being imprisoned now to, the, to a high-security jail in Colombo. Also that, uh, you know, he would be stripped of his uh, member of parliament say that seat also, uh, Manish. Right, Peer. Also, of course, the big question here being of the enmity between Rajapakse and uh, Fonseca. Now, has that played a role in this court martial, especially since there are some Rajapakse loyalists now in uh, the army who would uh, rather see Fonseca down and out? Uh, yes, Manish, you were right. Uh, uh, particularly, the first court martial stripped him of his uh, you know, army post, all the medals. Uh, you know, the, he served the army uh, for 40 years and also he played a very crucial role in the defeat of the LTT in uh, May 2009. 
and he was stripped of all that all the glory is gone and now the second marshal after he uh, uh, declared openly that he would testify before the un panel the, now the second marshal also accused him of uh, you know uh, abetting corruption particularly he gave tenders to his own son in law danuna telheratne who was running a, a, a weapon war weaponry company and he was giving when he was uh, army general he was giving all the tenders uh, most of the tenders to his son in law that was the charge on which you know he was sentenced to 3 years uh, jail right uh, right peer mohammed there joining us uh, with all those details he of course has been tracking the entire region for a decade now but this one way one way in which fonseca might actually feel happy if things go bad for rajapakse and the only way that can be is if the united nations uh, pro panel which began its work officially today proves that rajapakse is a war criminal now of course the panel which is a three member panel set up by un secretary general ban ki moon will probe charges of alleged war crimes and possible genocide of an innocent uh, lankan tamilians against uh, sri lankan president mahinda rajapakse and his entire war cabinet now they have commenced the investigations today this comes even as the sri lankan government has said they will not allow the un team to even set foot on sri lankan soil and here's a look at uh, who all is there in the controversial panel set up by the united nations first up is this man headed head of the panel of course indonesia's former attorney general marzuki darusman the other two members include this woman who is the anti apartheid face of south africa her name is yasmin suka and of course uh, this man steven ratner a criminal lawyer known for his sympathy towards all those displaced in war he belongs to the united states of america There's one more swine flu death and uh, that's been suspected to have taken place in Coimbatore. Now more than 10 deaths have been reported in the state this year. Although health authorities are denying that this death is due to swine flu. In fact, the health minister today held a meeting with health officials across the state to review Tamil Nadu's preparedness for tackling this disease. Nalu inda dinam inge innum eppadi கட்டுப்பாட்டில் இருக்கிறதா என்று ஆய்வு செய்வதற்காக இந்த கூட்டத்தை கூட்டிடும் இப்போது தமிழகத்தில் பன்றி காய்ச்சல் பரவுவது தடுக்கப்பட்டு ஒவ்வொரு நபர்களும் பாதிக்கப்பட்ட நபர்கள் கிட்டத்தட்ட எழுநூற்றி ஆறு நாற்பத்தி மூணு நபர்கள் பாதிக்கப்பட்டு இந்த நோயிலிருந்து பாதிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறார்கள் அதை அவர்கள் வீடு வீடாக அவர்களுடைய வீடு தெருக்களை ஆய்வு செய்ய வேண்டும் என்று வலியுறுத்தப்பட்டிருக்கிறது Well, and the producers of Enthiran have again decided to postpone the release of the blockbuster in the making. 200 crores riding on the movie. No other producer willing to mess around with the movie. But still, fans will now have to wait just a bit longer for the movie. October 1st is when the movie releases. And our reporter Bertila joined us with more details. Everybody was expecting the next Friday is going to be the big day when this uh, magnum opus of Shankar and Rajinikanth Yandiran is going to be released all across across the world but now there's going to be a little bit of disappointment but at least for now we know for sure that this movie is going to be released on the 1st of October worldwide uh, this uh, movie was made at a cost of more than 150 crore rupees and hence um, Uh, all the the theater uh, uh, the theater owners and the distributors have clearly said that they are going to uh, charge a little bit more than the extra uh, on the first 3 days for all the tickets so those of you who are going to really go and watch the movie the first day first shows i think you're going to be spending a little more money than usual at, at this time to watch yendi ran now and catch rajini or chitti well of course that wouldn't be a big price to pay to see superstar back in action again A chili farmer attracted the government's attention by going on a lightning protest in Chennai coming all the way from Nagapattinam 400 kilometers away Lawrence his name was a chili farmer from Nagapattinam district took the city police by surprise when he started a protest demanding remunerative price for chilies with a sack of chilies outside he was arrested by the Anna Square police minutes after he started the protest in front of the labor statue on the Marina beach on Friday evening He demanded the Tamil Nadu government to ensure that farmers get remunerative prices for his chilies there you see the police man even In fact, confiscated his bag of chilies. The what the goody pona na poora da sir, nothing. Papa bought on the. The nuti roora sir, ni kadeil matras le nuti roora. Na vikya wala sir, sathi ma. Amma daayero kadava ida. Pur kani thoda vandu kana sir. 
எப்படி என்னால் சாதிக்க முடியுங்க What is the most common complaint? Bad roads that crumble even after a silken drizzle. Or freshly laid ones that are almost immediately dug up by various agencies. Almost with a vengeance. So we at NDTV Hindu decided to do something different. Our civic reporter Pratiksha Ramakumar drove uh, through some key routes in the city and here are her nominations for the worst roads in Chennai. Roads that lead to the swanky IT offices and state-of-the-art, well, libraries. It may be difficult to get your attention to the actual road here when there are so many potholes. But look carefully. This road, named after the Ramakrishna Mutt in Mylapur, is just five years old. But it looks much more than its age. Thanks to the poor quality with which it was laid and the recent digging up by the Metro Water Board. The uh, dam, the repair work, work, work is going on continuously but not at a complete uh, till date. But uh, it will affect the, uh, a lot of vehicle, vehicle traffic in this area. It's a lot of customers. Now, there's a four-wheeler going and there's a pinnati going. There's a little four-wheeler going and there's a double wheel going and there's a lot of people 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 going. It will be tough to choose the best, rather the worst road in Chennai. Here are the top contenders. The Sumatri Road, broken and battered. At the commercial hub of Chennai, you don't just get clothes of all shapes and cuts. The roads too have as many cuts. The best residential area in Chennai, Adyar, is a strong contender with its arterial LB road for the bumps eventually causing the traffic snarls. The causes for bad roads are many. Most arterial roads come under the bus route road department. They, along with the zonal commissioners, say the infrastructure projects under construction in the city have hampered repairs. Regarding RK Metro, the Metro water work is going on there. Uh, moreover, it's a bus route road. If there is any patches, uh, we will attend uh, with the uh, zone people. But the main task is uh, the Metro water people has to complete their work. Then the BRR will, department will take up the relaying of the road. Sources in the roads department say that most of the city's roads are mainly laid with an asphalt base. The lifespan of this material is a maximum of five years. To replace them with concrete, which is four times more durable, is apparently stuck in red tape. In Chennai, Pratiksha Ram Kumar for NDTV Hindu. Well, time for us to slip into a very short break. Up on the other side, after Andhra Pradesh, Lois and Rajasthan are up in arms. We bring you more on that. Stay with us.